In making predictions, we are going to look at chemical reactions and be able to predict what's going to happen in that reaction based on the chemical equation and phases of matter. Yep, right pass on. Uh, we should be able to compare products in reactants to see or to predict what we'll see in a reaction. And we should also be able to write a reaction, a chemical equation, based on what we see in a reaction. So let's consider the, the uh, following uh, reactions. Don't write them down, but we'll talk about them each individually. Okay? So first, KNO3S yields KNO3AQ. That's the first one we're going to talk about. That's dissolving. And when a substance goes from a solid to an aqueous solution, can you pay attention? Thank you. When a substance goes from a solid to an aqueous solution, oh, it has to be in the pen. When a substance goes from solid to aqueous, we call that dissolving. So just like you guys, if you ever have co uh, sugar in your coffee, what you do is you put the sugar in your coffee and you mix it up, the sugar appears to go away. You don't see it anymore. What's some evidence that it's still there? What the is taste. it? The taste. You taste the sugar. What other things that you could say is if we let the water dissolve, what would be left over? Similar, similar to what we talked about earlier, the sugar would be left over. What does aqueous mean? A aqueous means dissolved in water or a okay. solution with water. So that's where the AQ comes from, the aqua, the root of the word. So it appears to, it, we see it go away. You can't see it, but there's other evidence that is there. What do you think happens to the density of salt water or sugar water compared to the density of regular water? It does. It becomes more dense. And actually, that density difference is one of the biggest reasons uh, of energy transport in the world in the oceans. Interestingly enough, it causes climate. All right. In this reaction, we start. Guys, look up here. Look up here. We start with a solid. Look up here, everybody. Stop right. Look up here. We start start with a solid, and we end up with an aqueous solution. So if we were predicting what we would see here, we'd, we'd say we should expect to see a solid in the beginning and end with an aqueous solution. So we should be able to predict that just based on looking at this reaction. Uh, precipitation, not the rain type of precipitation. In Chemistry, we uh, call precipitation when a solid substance forms from aqueous solutions. Or coming, there can be a couple ways of precipitation. It can, uh, it can be one solution or mixing two solutions. We call that a precipitate if it forms a solid. So in this reaction, so stop writing and look up here, just look up here. We start with two solutions. We start with two aqueous solutions. And we end with a solid in a solution, in our products. That's what we produce. So that solid is called the precipitate. So what we expect to start with is we mix two solutions and we form a solid in a solution. That's what we would expect to see. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Uh, another example we're going to see is uh, when we talk about bubbles. So, when a substance forms a gas from solution, we expect to see bubbles. Sort of like what we saw today. In this case, we start with a solid and a solution, indicated by the S and the AQ in the reactant side. And we end with a solution and a gas. 
and the product side. <coughs> indicated by the AQ and the G in the product side. So what we would see in this overall reaction, we would expect to mix a solid in an aqueous solution, a solid in a solution, and we'd form bubbles in a solution. Now that's sort of like if we had soda. When we opened up a soda, you see bubbles. That's a solution forming a gas. And that's something we see in everyday life. So uh, if we, if guys look up here, <clears throat> look at their eyes up here. So if we're talking about uh, predicting what we would see in different reactions, what would we see in one, two, and three? So I'll give you guys a couple seconds to look, uh, and um, we'll be, we should be able to predict what we see, what type of reaction these three. Look at what we're mixing. What are we mixing in number one? What are we mixing there? Antonio, don't lean back in the chair. What are we mixing, Antonio, in this first one? Uh, and what are we producing? Okay. And what do we call that? What was the name for that? Yep. It was a precipitate. Good. How about number two? What do we see? What are we mixing in, in uh, number two? What are we mixing, uh, uh, Brie, in uh, reaction two? Two aqueous solutions. And what are we producing? Yep. So what would we observe? There. What would we see when the gas is produced? If you see a gas produced in a liquid, what do you see? What's that, Harry? Bubbles. We'd expect to see bubbles. How about in the last one, number three? What are we starting off with? What are we starting off with, Laura? Number three? Yep. Um, what phase of matter is that? Yeah, what phase? What's that S mean right there? That is a solid. Yeah, starting with solid. That's the reactive. What is our product? An aqueous. An aqueous what? Uh, liquid. An aqueous solution, a liquid. Yeah. So what do we expect to see if we mix a solid in and we end up with a liquid? What do we call that? A solution? Yeah, we call it a solution, but... A product? What's the process called? The whole process from beginning to end? Oh, Jesus. Nope. <laughs> Dissolving. Dissolving. Very good. So, guys, any questions? That's it. Um, why don't you guys start working on your homework, and we'll we'll wish Kate. I really wish Kate uh, good good wishes. Okay. Did you wish me good wishes when I was gone? We just we came up with that today. We're gonna wish good wishes to you. Yeah, really <laughs> okay. Mr. Hill was actually the only.